Good morning. Do you know the forecast was cloudy? It's a stunning day again. I am, or I've had, more recommendations than any other to go to a small fishing town of Cadiz, about a hundred miles east along the coast in Spain, right near the French border. So, three days ago, Monica and I drove up there, and you're absolutely right. It is breathtakingly stunning. Beautiful little fishing villages, stunning roads, and I thought I have to go there and explore a little bit more keep going a little bit further around the coast on the bike this time. So Monica's going to stay here. I've got a little bit of new kit to test out and I'm going to just, well, head off as early as I can. So it's 9 a.m. and I'll probably get back around about sunset. It will be about 250 miles. And if the weather stays like this, I'll be so lucky because actually the forecast, I do like rubbing it in when the weather's really good here, but the forecast actually for the next week is a little bit cloudy and it's dropped about 16 degrees. So it may look glorious and sunny and it is, but the temperature has now dropped a bit. Hence, <laughs> should I just say actually, this is amazing. This is from Uniqlo. Yeah, Monica calls it the teddy bear top. But this is about 30 pounds. It's pretty much completely windproof and it's so good at keeping you warm. Zip in the middle, pockets on the side. It's a great little thing that. I use that now for anything that mm -hmm. gets below about 15 degrees, that goes on immediately. I right, really like that. and it's embarrassing, isn't it? I think Monica's just got one as well, so yeah. we're kind of matching that. I think it's completely ridiculous. I'm excited. It should be about seven hours riding today. I cannot wait. <laughs> about 15 minutes away from Caracas and the scenery is spectacular. Right over in the distance, I think the camera can just pick it up. They are snow covered mountains all the way along in the distance. I pretty much covered that riding alongside those the entire journey down. You can see the sea in the distance there and the roads here just snaking around are mind-blowingly good weather's glorious everything just could not be better so there's the road snaking around all the way around this mountainous range and in the distance there you can see the snow covered mountains right in the distance and leading all the way down to the sea just behind this hillside
Well, we came here on Sunday, everything was open, bars bustling, coffee shops, everything full. But today, a Tuesday, everything closed. And of course, it's off season, that's why. I've got to stop forgetting that. On off season, in these especially touristy areas, most of the places are closed, although that's no bad thing because I get the place to myself. And in fact, it may even be better than coming on the weekend. It's a breathtakingly stunning area. Right, you may notice something different. No moniker on the back, yet I've still been able to record my ride. And that's because for the past week, I've been testing out this, the Insta360 X3. This is, I believe, the newest range or the newest product within the Insta360 lineup. They, in essence, do small handheld video cameras and traditional cameras. This is a very nicely designed, elegant camera with a very good sized touchscreen. What I'd love from this is something to be able, something that I can record my rides, but be incredibly easy to use because my attention span, if anything's difficult, drops to absolute zero. And I've been delighted to find out that this is incredibly easy to use. The things it can do, are mind blowing, you know, you can do loop recording, you can do slow mo in or time lapse in 8K, it can go underwater, it's very nearly limitless. So, I'll do a little closer up look at this because I've been extremely impressed. Right, this for today has been my setup for the Insta360. You can see I've got one mount attached to the rear rack. So that means that I can have the 360 camera attached to this pole that I unscrew, attach that pole to the back of the bike and then set the camera way up high and I can record, it blows my mind, I can record in complete 360. I still don't fully understand how it does it. And I've also attached one attachment here with this pole that just unscrews and this is the Insta360 X3 device. You can see the big touch screen there. And I've been using this for the sim single camera mode, which is very good for moto vlogging. You can see how beautifully designed it is. So just that pole with the X3 device at the top. This is what the touch screen looks like. So that's what it records like, but you can change either during filming or after filming. You can change for it to be recorded in 16.9 or 9.16, in essence, landscape or portrait. So you can actually choose right here on the app. You can choose if it's 4K, 30 frames per second, all of those things. You can choose them right there before even getting to the app. And then the app itself, you can do loads of different stuff with it too. I've also got a helmet mount, but which would go here but I haven't attached that today. I think I may do that for the next ride. But in essence, this is my Insta360 setup for the day. And I've caught it on such a glorious day to get the best footage. You can just see Cadaquez. It really is a really very, very special place. Really cut off. You have to go along a lot, a lot of mountainous roads for about 20 minutes to actually get here. And that's probably what makes it so special. And the app itself, once you've finished doing all of your recording, I'll put, I'll put a little swipe through of the app here so you can see exactly how it works. But the app on the Insta360 is, for me, the, the biggest or the single biggest thing for the ease of use. So it seamlessly moves via Bluetooth all of the videos from the Insta360 X3 onto the app that you download. Once you've got all of the videos, you can edit them and then delete them as you wish. So once you've deleted the videos from the app, it deletes from the actual X3 camera itself. So you don't need to mess around taking out memory cards and you know worrying about clicking through different options on the actual camera itself. It is all done through the app. You can also do oh, just some, some things almost above. You can do a sky swap, whereby you can change the sky to a whole load of different options. And it's the seamless ease of use, which makes it brilliant. You can also, after you've recorded, let's say if you've recorded in landscape and or portrait, you can then in the app switch back 
from landscape to portrait so you can crop exactly as you want to use the the footage I, I'll be using this a lot now really a lot and it will give me more impetus actually to go and do solo journeys knowing that I can get some good content because that as has in the past been a big issue for me going out for rides and not being able to film or film some of these glorious roads that I've been on so I've got I think in the X3 a new best friend with regards to camera capturing camera recording and just saving all those memories of riding delighted with it Right, next up, I think I'm going to aim over in this direction here because it looks like there's a tiny white lighthouse right on the edge of that cliff face over in that direction and that looks just a little bit wilder, a little bit less built up than these stunning villas on this side. So I've checked on, on the sat-nav, that is 25 minutes away. I think it's only about a mile away but there are so many twists and turns to get there. 25 minutes by bike. I'm aware of the bonds that were created today When you told me that sure there's a way The water's so still The map paint has gone away much cleaner after it rain Follow my love Except it's in spring air Follow the moment of the sun There's a call for new beginnings here But the sorrow of yesterday disappeared Let your body I'm a wanderer of the soul Before the end I plan to be whole But I know I'll lose myself along the way What's gone is gone What's past is past Let me leave what belongs in the past The road ahead is quite unclear let me walk in despite fear The road stretches over the hills And I've got many debts to pay Somewhere on their own way My pay is not take my underlayer off it's so warm I've been going for about 10 minutes and most of it or 50 percent at least seems to be off-roading which is always a good sign when you want to get somewhere special i've now got a choice either down the no through road or the dead end road there or up this side where you have to leave your vehicle 
and walk. No cars, no motorbikes. So I think, I think I'll go with the no through road run. I'm hoping it's about 10 minutes away, just, you won't be able to see it, but just around the next bend, maybe 10 minutes away. I think probably most won't be paved or decent roads, but oh, it doesn't matter when you're in this kind of scenery. I'll just give you a little, a little show of some of the houses here on the hills. They are stunning. And this part of the world, Spain, Italy, France, never done this. And this isn't someone's garden. Olive trees everywhere. Oh, yeah. God, that is unbelievably foul. Must be out of season. So, so bitter. So bitter. Okay. Okay, I've got 10 minutes to go. It's, oh, it's all so glorious. Okay, further than I thought. I was all the way over in that cove there on the bike when I said I wanted to get to that lighthouse there. But the only way to get there is along this very, very long walking track all the way along. And I think, I think it would take about an hour to get there. So I'll probably have to head back, otherwise I'll be riding back in the dark and it does drop off the temperature. Interestingly though, because Monica's not here, she would not find it interesting. There are a lot of fortifications, really old stone fortifications around here, and more modern looking fortifications along here. No idea what era that would be from. Oh, you can see here, it's a great, great vantage point all the way down. But this is, this is the end of these old walls of fortifications. No idea where they'd be from. You can see here, right on the edge of the water, this stone built, stone built wall all along there. Wow, kind of trench leading all the way around. Hmm. Interesting. was a lie, what I said earlier. Almost everything is open. It just so happens that the coffee shop that I went to three days ago isn't open, but you can see, I think things must have just opened maybe since I've got here or something like that, but it feels alive, full of life, and it's got that bustle that I remember on Sunday, and you can just see how stunning everything is with the road, just a single road winding all the way along the coast there past these beautiful blue and white buildings. It's like a postcard. Motorbike parking also incredibly well catered for. I parked the Bonneville there. I remember seeing this a couple of days ago. I haven't seen so many Honda Scoopies since being in Indonesia. It's amazing to see so many of these old Hondas just happily whizzing around, ferrying people on their, their everyday life. I love that. So simple, beautiful. 
What else we got? Huge amounts of 125s. It seems to be the mode of transport to get around here. As simple as it gets, little 125s. I think that's a scoopy. That's a scoopy as well. And parking all along here. And you're right on, right on the waterfront. So it's a dream for biking. Right, as I was coming out, I realized there are huge amounts of coffee shops open. So I'm going to grab a coffee before I head off. And then I've got the mountainous road to get out of Caracas, which hopefully should get a bit of a sunset as I leave. So I'll spend about another half an hour here, get the sunset, hopefully on the mountains, and then I'll have to ride back in the dark, but it's not the end of the world. Right, that's it, I'll wrap it up there. I left at, I think, nine o'clock in the morning. It's now 4.30. And it's just been a magical day. Just stunningly nice, breathtakingly good roads. As good as you'll see up there in Cadiz and the areas around it, stunning. And this, this is the magic of biking. It makes every day, every journey, an unforgettable experience. Thank you to Insta360 for providing me with the X3. I would definitely recommend it. Yes, it's a brilliant camera. It's brilliant for videoing. It's got huge amounts of different settings. But for someone like me, 
It's the ease of use. It is ridiculously easy to use. I hope I've done both the X3 and the surrounding area justice with my recording. I'll be interested to see how it is once it goes onto a laptop and we can really see it clearly there. But you know, transferring all of the data from there onto the phone and checking it, it's seamless. It is so easy. There's also a sale on at Insta360 right now. So if you're interested, go and check it out. Click on the link in the written description below. That's my link. And if you click it, you'll get a free selfie stick with your Insta360 order. Right. Thank you, everyone, for coming along. Please do have an amazing week all, and I will see you all in the next one.